Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, finally this uh, GPT-5 has arrived. Uh, OpenAI officially launched uh, this GPT model, GPT-5 model. And right now everyone is talking about GPT-5, so why not me? <laughs> so today in this uh, video actually I'm going to discuss about the GPT-5. Uh, like uh, what is the new update in this model and uh, what you will be getting in this model, what you can perform with this model, each and everything I'll be talking about. So guys, if you have already watched the recent OpenAI launch event, so they're uh, talking about the GPT-5. So they told like uh, the GPT-5 is, uh, it, is uh, it is the like uh, more smarter, fastest and most used model so far. So uh, we already know that uh, OpenAI has uh, lots of model like uh, we have been using uh, various kinds of models so far like GPT-3 is there, GPT-3.5 is there, GPT-4 is there, GPT-4O is there, right? And uh, you also know that like GPT-4 also supports like uh, visual capabilities that means you can also uh, give uh, image videos okay as an input and it can also understand and give you the output okay uh, with the image and text. Uh, but uh, what is the new update in GPT-5 okay why they are claiming this particular model is more smarter like more uh, powerful and more fastest okay this this thing i'll be talking about so guys uh, to show you the gpt5 capabilities i'm going to take you uh, into my computer screen and there we'll try to see the gpt5 so guys uh, if you don't know gpt5 is available uh, in the chat gpt uh, so if you are logging with the chat gpt chatgpt.com so the default model right now you'll be getting gpt5 okay so if you if you are using premium subscription of the chat GPT, so you can also access uh, some other model like GPT-5 thinking and all, right? And if you're using the free plan, so you'll be able to use the GPT-5, okay? This uh, flagship model. And uh, free, uh, free account has some limitation. That means uh, uh, after some certain actually uh, request, uh, you won't be able to use this model. But uh, the best part actually I figured out, uh, let's say previously what uh, uh, we used to do, let's say uh, I, I am using the free plan and uh, my free, free free plan is over let's say my request is over that time it will give you a error like uh, you can't use the GPT uh, this particular model because you already um, let's say hit your limit right so then then what we have to do guys we have to change any other model there but right now this thing you don't need to do in the new chat GPT interface it will automatically switch to another model let's say the, you already uh, you already let's say hit your limit right so automatically it will uh, it will actually take another model okay so uh, so that you won't be getting any kinds of interrupt so this particular update is amazing and uh, yeah so if you're using a smartphone guys just try to uh, search this uh, gpt app on the play store or, or if you're using uh, ios device so you can go to the app store and uh, try to install this uh, gpt app okay and if you install it if you create the account so by default you will be able to use this particular gpt5 model okay and this is the amazing interface guys right now we have and you can see chat gpt uh, now has our smarter uh, smartest fastest and most useful model yet uh, with thinking built in uh, so you get the best answer every time okay we'll be testing out guys not an issue and uh, it also integrated some advanced uh, voice mode right now so previously the voice mode we used to use uh, right now the voice mode they have integrated this is more smarter than okay so guys as i already told you uh, this gpt5 is smarter uh, fastest and like most used model uh, so why they are calling as a smarter model because uh, right now they have made this model uh, unified that means uh, previously what uh, we used to do let's say we used to select uh, different different model right uh, we used to select different different model for different different tasks let's say we want to perform coding related task so that time we used to use something called gpt uh, 4o mini okay so this is like uh, mostly uh, related coding uh, i mean uh, problems uh, okay you can solve coding problem then let's say you want to perform some reasoning operation so you have to select the reasoning model so we had to select manually those are the model right but right now this thing is unified that means uh, so let's say if you give a simple prompt, this model is smart enough. So it will use the default model to give you the response faster. And if you're asking uh, something uh, related, uh, let's say uh, some more, uh, more let's say uh, deeper questions or let's say it needs some more uh, brainstorming. 
so that time it will automatically switch to another model okay so the model name is gpt5 thinking so this model has actually her reasoning capabilities so it will uh, go uh, it will go in depth okay uh, uh, about your questions and it will try to figure out the best answer for you so that's how guys uh, they have made this uh, model unified that means right now you don't need to select the model manually okay you can also select the model manually if you want but uh, based on your prompt it will automatically decide uh, which one to use okay uh, to give you the answer so this thing actually amazing actually i got uh, from this uh, new update OpenAI is also telling this model is more reliable uh, for some hallucination as well okay so let's uh, uh, hit some prompt guys and uh, let's test this model like how it performs so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to just uh, give a prompt uh, to the gpt5 so here i'm going to pass this prompt uh make a terrace game for my company the alex cookies company uh, instead of uh, terrace blocks use uh, cookie cookies image for the pieces include uh, keyboard controls for the left right rotate and drop also use my branding so here what i'm going to do guys i'm going to use a uh, logo just to give uh, uh, as a prompt okay so that uh, it can use this particular logo see uh, right now actually uh, in the updated model that means gpt5 uh, here you don't need to pass the detail prompt okay so if you give this kinds of prompt it will uh, build the entire system end to end okay but previous model if you have already used uh, there you have to pass the multiple prompt okay to define that uh, so yeah uh, uh, right now you just need, uh, need to only uh, like wait for the response you don't need to think about the detail prompting okay now let's hit this particular prompt yeah so guys uh, it will take uh, some time i will wait okay uh, i will wait for the entire implementation then i will try to test it out so as you can see guys uh, it has started uh, the implementation uh, amazing you can see it is it is also trying to capture the logo color okay you can see brand background dark outline text okay uh, yeah so it's amazing guys okay let's uh, wait uh, for the response uh, and i'll try to test it out okay after that yeah okay so guys uh, as you can see my uh, implementation is completed now let's try to test it out so you can see the entire code okay entire code even uh, now gpt5 has the capabilities to give you the uh, like uh, more uh, like more uh, token output okay so yeah uh, to test it like uh, here is the run code button let's try to click here now see guys okay this is the game now here what i can do i can click on the start button now see guys <laughs> this this is running okay now it is using this cookie okay cookie icon get it and see alex cookie company here you can see this code okay everything you will be able to see that even you can pause it even you can restart it okay it's amazing guys right with a single prompt we are able to uh, we are able to actually build this kinds of system now with your uh, arrow key actually you can control that let's say right left okay up then you can also change it okay up i think it will work it will change that that uh, actually yeah pattern yeah so that's all guys <laughs> now you can play this game in the chat gpt <laughs> all right and here one more thing you can see guys the logo i have given it is using the same background and this cookie okay this cookie i can actually it is using okay for my branding amazing guys and here if you see the code implementation as well as the response it's pretty clean even uh, some nice comments okay uh, yeah so the response is amazing okay i liked a lot yeah not only that you can also connect your gmail as well as your calendar in the recent update so let me show you uh, for this uh, here you can see this is your uh, icon just try to click here go to the settings and here you'll see one option called connectors okay now from here you can connect your gmail as well as the calendar okay and there are uh, some other stuff also you can connect now what would be the main advantage to use this particular uh, connector operations so that means uh, let's say if i want to connect my gmail google calendar so what would be our benefit so right now what you can do guys if you connect uh, your gmail as well as your google calendar you don't need to even open up your gmail okay so only just to try to give the prompt let's say uh, I, I i i need to see the summarize uh, of my recent uh, actually email okay recent email so it will try to automatically read your recent email and it will give you the entire summary let's say you want to book a calendar or okay? you want to book a meeting so just try to give a prompt automatically everything would be happening okay so this is super amazing uh, features you will be getting in the recent update 
there is another new update you will be getting in the chat GPT so here you can more customize the chat GPT so here you can see here you have different different options you can customize as per your requirement so here you can even uh, change the chat color you can also uh, um, uh, change the personality okay everything is possible in this new customization option there is another cool update you will be getting in the voice mode so right now it is using the advanced void mode uh, actually functionality so if I click here so it will ask me to allow my uh, microphone hey I want to build a terrace game so can you please give me the guide on top of that Absolutely. Let's walk through a simple guide to building a Tetris game. First, you'll want to choose your programming language. Python is a pretty popular choice for a beginner-friendly version, and you can use something like Pygame for the graphics and game loop. Next, you'll need to think about the core mechanics. Tetris is essentially a grid-based game where different shaped pieces, called tetraminos, fall from the top, and the player moves and rotates them to form full horizontal lines. When a line is complete, it disappears, and everything above it shifts down. To implement it, you'll define wait, wait, the wait. game board. Wait, wait. I, I want to use uh, like fast API here. Is it possible to use the fast API to build the entire front end? Ah, uh, got it. So fast API is actually a web framework for building APIs rather than front ends. It's great for handling the back end logic, serving data, and basically managing all the behind the scenes stuff. But for the actual front end, the part that players will interact with, you typically use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yeah, I'm going to stop it out, guys. So I think you saw the entire uh, conversation. It was like uh, quite like uh, a human touch, okay? So this is amazing. So here you'll be getting another new update, guys, uh, which is uh, study, uh, yeah, study and learn mode, okay? So if you just click on this uh, plus icon, uh, if you go to more, and here is the option study and learn so if i select it out now let's say here i will give a prompt let's say i want to learn how to make motorcycle okay uh, step by step guide me on that Okay, so now if I give this prompt here. Now this will help you to actually uh, study about this particular topic, okay? So here you can see awesome goal, building a motorcycle is totally uh, reliable uh, and it's a big project. So here is the step by step guys. Uh, uh, so here you can see this is the step by step uh, like phase it is uh, suggesting, okay? And even it will also ask you some question like whether you are a beginner whether you are intermediate, okay, uh, like what kinds of knowledge you have. So based on that, you can hit the prompt and you can study about this particular topic. Not only that, you can study about any kinds of engineering, cooking, okay, anything you can do here. So there you go. This is the new update how you'll be uh, getting in the recent uh, updated of the chat GPT. Uh, that means in the GPT-5. So let me know what is your thought on that. And if you found this video helpful, guys, please uh, try to subscribe to my channel and hit the like. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. With that, thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.